three giant mirrors high on the mountainside above the Norwegian industrial town of Rukun. They've been erected to shed some sunlight on a town known for its winter darkness. The mirrors have been installed on the mountain wall, about 450 meters above the town's market square. Each one measures 17 square meters, that's 51 square meters in total, to catch the sun's rays and reflect them down onto Rukon in an elliptical shape of about 600 square meters. The reflected light will be between 80 and 100 percent as bright as direct sunlight. It's important to have the sun in winter time, and uh, in the, this uh, town we have we didn't have the sun six months uh, a year in winter time, and the people up here they are they want to have the sun. We take the mirror and reflect the sun down to us, uh, so, so it's a crazy idea, and, uh, but uh, it's funny, and uh, I think uh, the people like it. The mirrors are controlled by a computer to follow the path of the sun, adjusting to the best angle. The idea is not new, it was first suggested in Rukun a hundred years ago and in 2006 a similar project was successfully set up in the village of Viganella in northern Italy. Local people it seems have embraced the new scheme. They say, uh, hooray, this is, uh, this is a nice idea. Uh, when we now have the sun down to the, to the town square, people coming here, they're taking pictures, they are uh, laughing and, uh, and uh, have a good time. Solar panels will power equipment to automatically wash the mirrors and move them into position. Designers hope the sunshine will revitalize the town during the winter months.